Welcome back, Shinobi. Today, we're diving into another leak code mission from the Hidden Leaf Scrolls. This time, Lady Tsunade herself sent us a problem. Number of powerful integers. Sounds like a jutsu, right? That's because it is. Let's break it down using chakra control and real shinobi logic. All right, listen up, Jenins. We're given a mission to count all integers in a given range that fulfill two ninja rules. One, every digit must be within your chakra control, meaning each digit limit your chakra limit. Two, the number must end with a specific clan symbol, a fixed suffix like 124, 10, etc. Let's decode this using some chakra-charged examples. We want all numbers between 1 and 6,000 that end with 124 and don't lose chakra control, meaning all digits must be tuck of 4. Let's try building chakra-strong shinobi IDs. 124, 1124, 2 and 24, 31 24, 4 and 24. But 51 24, why? Because 5 exceeds the chakra limit. So answer. Five powerful shinobi IDs. This time, we're in a smaller battleground. From 15 to 215, we need IDs that end in 10 and are chakra safe. 110, 210. What well, three is fine, but it's not in range. Final answer, two strong candidates. This is like trying to summon the nine tails with a weak ceiling jutsu. We want suffix 3000, but all our numbers are less than that. So none of them can even hold the suffix. Answer? Zero powerful integers here. Now, how do we solve this without brute forcing through all chakra IDs? That's troublesome. We'll use a reverse chakra build strategy. One, we treat each number as a prefix plus suffix. Two, the suffix must match the clan symbol. Three, the prefix must be filled with chakra safe jits limit. Four, and we can't go beyond finish, like Naruto can't go full Kurama mode inside the academy. So, we use dynamic programming to build valid prefixes digit by digit while making sure we don't break the limit or overshoot the target. This code is like a Rasengan scroll, optimized, clean, and chakra balanced. All right, gather round, Shinobi. Let's break open this Rasengan level code line by line. We're going full scroll reader mode. And yes, we're dry running example one right here. Like any smart Shinobi, we only want to count IDs between start and finish. So we count total powerful numbers up to finish, then subtract the ones below start. This trick is known as the prefix sum jutsu. Count everything up to the top, subtract stuff before the bottom. This is the heart of the jutsu, the real Rasengan. It's where we calculate how many chakra safe numbers Kodi Val exist that end with suffix S. If Val is ash smaller than the suffix length, no way we can build such a number. For example, Val equals a 99, suffix equals 300, not possible. So we return zero and go eat ramen. In our dry run, val equals 6,000, s equals 124, length of 6,000 equals four, length of s equals three, and n equals one, we're good. We, we create a scroll DP table for storing results. DPI zero means we are building numbers freely from position I, no restriction. DPI one means we're still tight to val, we can't go above the digits in val. Then we set our base case at the suffix. We check if the, the ending digits of val i.e. 6,000 s one hundred twenty four. So in dry run, valsteer.substring n equals valsteer.substring1 1 equals 0, 0, 0, bas 0, 0, 0, 124. So dp1 equals 0. Final values, dp1 0 equals 1, free mode always allowed, dp1 1 equals 0, type mode blocked, we already crossed. Now we go from right to left, building possible prefixes digit by digit. In our dry run, n equals 1, so this loop runs for i equals 0 only since we just need one-digit prefixes to attach to 124. In free mode, we can choose any digit from 0 to limit at this position. Why limit plus 1? Because digits go from 0 up to limit, inclusive. So 0 0.4, 5 digits. So dp0 0 equals 5 to dp10 equals 5, tire 1 equals 5. Boom. We have five valid one-digit prefixes, zero to four, that we can safely attach one twenty twenty four to. This part checks if we're still tight to val. In our dry run, val circle six thousand, val slash zero zero equals six, digit equals six, limit is four. So six and four, we can't go tight anymore. So fall back, dp zero one equals limit plus one to dp one zero equal five to the one equals five. We break tight mode and treat it like free mode now. So finally, we return dp01, the count of valid powerful integers up to 6,000 with suffix 1 or 24. 
In dry run, answer equals five phi. And from earlier, count powerful Shinobi zero four one twenty four equals zero. Final answer equals five nine is zero equals five. All right, nerd mode on. Let's see the chakra cost of this jutsu. Time complexity O n, where n equals those number of digits in finish, because we iterate once for each digit position. Space complexity O n two equals O n for our chakra scroll, DP table. You did it, Shinobi. You learned to identify the powerful ones in the chakra realm. Now go apply this jutsu in battle or in your next leak code contest. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your ninja rank in the comments. And there it is, Shinobi. You've just mastered another chakra-based leak code jutsu, powerful integers. Just remember, treat suffix like a clan symbol. Build prefixes with chakra-safe digits, use DP like a Shinobi scroll, and avoid brute force unless you're Rock Lee. See you in the next battle, where we'll decode even stronger chakra-based DSA puzzles. Believe it!